In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Descript's AI eye contact feature so it makes it look like you're always looking into the camera lens, even when you're not. Descript has released a new feature called eye contact, which is an AI feature that makes it look like our eyes are looking right into the camera lens, even if we're looking off to the side and reading a script or not looking at the camera. Here's an example of what that effect will look like. Right now you can see I'm not looking into the camera lens, so I'm looking off to the side of the camera, but if we were to turn on the Descript AI eye contact feature, I'm still looking in the same place physically, but with the effect on, it looks like I'm looking right at the camera. This effect is super impressive and easy to set up, and it works really well for correcting our eye contact. This means you don't need to go out and buy a teleprompter or figure out how to use one of those, which is gonna save you money, but now you can just read your script right from your computer or your phone or iPad or whatever that's sitting next to your camera, and you won't have to worry about memorizing a whole bunch of lines or doing a ton of retakes, which is gonna save you time. And I'm all about saving time and money. Let's jump into Descript and see how we can do this effect. So we're gonna open up the Descript app on our computer. I'll put a link in in the description of this video if you need to download it still. And that link will get you a free trial of Descript with the option to try out up to 10 minutes of footage on this AI eye contact feature. But if you want more than that, you'll need to upgrade to one of the paid plans. Okay, so here in Descript, this is the main Descript page when we log into our project workspace. We're just gonna go up here and hit new and then new video project to open up a new project. And then I'm just gonna call this Descript AI eye contact. And then we just need to upload our file. So I'm gonna grab a video file that I have lying around and then just click and drag it in here. And then we'll wait a minute for it to be uploaded. We see that our media has uploaded. So I'm just gonna hit done to transcribe this. And then we'll wait a minute for this to get transcribed. Okay, so now our video is uploaded and being finished being transcribed. If you're not familiar with Descript, it's basically a text video generator. So it transcribes everything that I say, and then it lets me edit the video just by editing this text right here. So I'm just going to cut out this first line right here. And then it gets rid of it from the actual video. So now we're starting right here. And I'm going to open up the timeline so you can see that that got rid of it as well. So to apply the AI eye contact effect, all we need to do is click on our clip, go over here to effects, hit the plus button and click this one that says eye contact. And then we're just gonna wait a few minutes for this effect to be applied. Now this may take a couple of minutes depending upon how long and what resolution your video file is because basically what's happening is Descript is generating a whole new video file for you with the eyes corrected. So it might take a minute for that to render. So just give it a second. So it's about 30 seconds later. So this is a pretty short clip so it didn't take very long to render. If you have a longer clip like 10 minutes or more, it might take a while for it to render but since this is short we have our effect ready to go so we can see that we have under effects here with this video selected we have our eye contact that we can turn on and off so if you look right here at my eyes right now I'm looking at the camera and you can see that it looks basically the same when we toggle this on and off so now let's go to somewhere where I am not looking at the camera so to find that let's turn this off and I think it's over here all right, yep, and you see here, I am actually not looking at the camera lens. So let's go here and click this turn on button. Now let's play it and see what it looks like. So I'm not actually looking into the lens itself. I'm looking above the lens. Now I'm looking off to the side. So if I were to read a script from off to the side, so you can see that it's making it look more like I'm looking into the lens. It's not perfect, but you can see how much more it corrects it right there. So I found that the way that this works best is when you have a script that you're reading from that's close to the lens. So in this example, I'm looking pretty far off to the lens, which is why it looks a little bit further here. But if we go back up to the, the first one up here, so this is with the effect turned on and I'm looking above the lens and you can see how closely that, that looks like it is. So you see, turned on, turned off. And then if we have segments where we want to turn it off and on, we can do what's called create a new scene right here. So say let, let's say I want to, have this one here, I'm gonna hit enter and then start a new scene with just this slash here. And then we'll do that again here and I'll do that slash there. Say for this scene, I want it to be on, I'm gonna leave it on. And then for this one, I want it to be off. I can go and toggle it off. And then if we go back and forth between them, you can see that here it's on and then here it's off. So that's how you can turn it on and off for different scenes. And just look how much this changes it. So with it off versus on, it's like I'm very clearly not looking at the camera versus looking at the camera. So it's very impressive what we're able to do with AI these days. Again, the closer you're actually looking to the camera in your recorded footage, the better this feature is gonna be. So what I usually do is I usually have my camera set up 
right next to my computer, so I'm reading my script looking directly below or directly above my camera lens. So that's what I legitimately do in most of my YouTube videos, actually. This feature is also great if you have like Zoom calls or any other recorded lessons like that recorded that you may not be looking right at the camera because you're looking at the screen and you're looking at other people on the screen, but you want to upload it as a video lesson. You can use this AI eye contact feature on those videos, so it'll make it look like you're actually looking into the camera lens and get that more personalized engagement with your viewer. Or it can also be great for things like vlogs where you're walking and looking at the camera, but you're also kind of looking around at your surroundings. So it'll help you keep your eyes engaged on the camera, but you can still be paying attention to your surroundings in the moment. I do want to advise you to try to not to overdo it though, since there's no like strength setting on this feature yet. When we're talking to people in like a normal human-like conversation, we're not usually like dead straight focused eyes locked in on them all the time. You know, you're typically looking around, doing some other stuff, not always locked on gaze. So, and this tool is pretty good with that, but just be mindful of that when you're using it to make sure that it doesn't look robotic or unnatural. That being said, it is an incredible tool for making your recording process go incredibly faster since you don't need to worry about setting up a teleprompter or just trying to memorize your script and do multiple takes of the same thing and because you keep messing up. So that's very helpful because you can just read your script and then correct your eyes in post. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure to leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe if you want more AI tools for your business and social media. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.